Happy NaNoWriMo! And NaNoWriMo has already begun and it is the third and I thought oh should I like do a vlog but then I didn't want to do like a vlog for three days so I thought I'd do something different and I would open NaNo with like a couple like fun creative things and also to show you how I've set myself up for NaNoWriMo and why I've set myself up like that. <laughs> So first and foremost, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the little cover I created. I created this cover. This It's another cover reveal so soon after one other cover reveal. But this one I made myself and it is not publisher quality. I just made this because I was going to put it on the nano site. More on that later. But anyway, so that's the cover I made. And then I'm going to now show you the little trailer I made. And then when I come back, I'm going to show you how I'm going to be tracking things for NaNoWriMo this year because I am not using the website because the website made me mad. So uh, yeah, so without further ado, enjoy the trailer for my 2020 NaNoWriMo project. we're back. <laughs> so that's my trailer I did. I like it. I'm pretty proud of it. Um, it's not as hardcore as last year's trailer. I'll link last year's trailer over there. That was for my horror, which is now on submission, which is kind of wild <laughs> when you think about it. Um, but yeah, I didn't film it because it's a sci-fi thriller and it's in a building and there's no buildings for me to go in that are like hyper modern. So then I ended up using some stock video and that sort of thing um, because I already have a subscription subscription to a thing. So I just put that together. I actually put it together pretty quick, um, but I like it. It is extremely dramatic, melodramatic really, and I know that and I'm okay with that. <laughs> So that was the trailer and now I'm going to show you how I've set up for NaNoWriMo 2020. So this is why I'm not using the website. It kind of burns me to not use the website because it means I can't like see all of my nano projects from every single year. I will probably just go in there on the last day and like put in my final word count just so I can be like, yay, this is my NaNoWriMo year. Um, but yeah, I don't want to use the website because my word count goal is 75,000 words for the month and the nano website won't let you set a custom word count goal. And that super, super annoys me. And I was just like, you know what? I'm going to do my own thing. So this year I set up a notion board board. What do they call them? Notion page, I guess. So notion, this is not sponsored because my voice got very professional, but it's not sponsored. So Notion is essentially like a productivity organizational sort of software. I actually use it for a lot of things. I use it for planning my marketing for my debut. I use it for um, planning out my YouTube videos. I use it for website stuff and for that sort of thing. So for many, many things. And so I thought it was only natural to also use it for NaNoWriMo. And so I'm going to bring it up on screen and I will be in the corner. This is my Notion page. I've set it up with a nice little NaNoWriMo header. I ended up having to make this in Photoshop, which is so extra and really unnecessary. <laughs> but I wanted it to fit perfectly up top. So I made a little header for that. And then I put my word count goal at the top. My plan is to update that every day with whatever my final word count is. And then I have my little cover on the side that I made. And then I also put a synopsis. I'm not even going to read the synopsis because it's not good. I just wrote it because I wanted a synopsis to be there. And so I felt like I needed to put something, but it's very bad. So if you're reading it on screen, I'm sorry, it's not a great synopsis. Um, but moving on. So I have two trackers that I'm using. So the first tracker, this one here is a sprinting tracker. So because of 
because I read Chris Fox's book 5,000 words per hour, I'll link that below in the description. If you've watched some of my videos before, I talk about his book all the time because it helped me get a much faster writing speed. And so I use his stuff. And so he recommends using this tracker. My dog is literally just like walking between my legs to because she wants to be fed before her time. Anyway. <laughs> So I use his tracker and he says to track your sprints. So every time I do a sprint, I track it so that I can get out of the garbage. Any, oh gosh, anytime I track my sprints, um, Anytime I do a sprint, I track it so that I can watch my writing speed and to make sure that I'm kind of staying up to par. My current rate is that I do a thousand words in 20 minutes and that's really what I'm banking on for NaNoWriMo because I have to do 2,500 words per day. So that's roughly like an hour of work, um, which is good. Yeah, and I like that. So that's what I have. I have that tracker and then I have another tracker and then this is my NaNoWriMo daily word count tracker. Stop being naughty. Hey, quit it. <sighs> I'm working on my last nerve. <laughs> working on my last nerve. I know, and now you're like over here. Go lay down in your bed. Good girl, good girl. That's nice. See, isn't that nice? And here I have a daily tracker. So this is essentially to track my daily word count. So after I do all my sprinties or whatever, I will have a final word count and I will put that in this tracker. And that way it'll tell me what I'm doing per day and how many words I'm up to. And then I can take that number and I can put that in my little cover page thing. Is that an excessive amount of tracking? I don't know. I don't think so. To me, it seems like a normal amount of tracking, so I'm good with that. Um, I feel like the average person could just do a regular daily tracking, but I have to do the sprint tracking because it does actually help me with making sure I'm keeping up to speed with my writing. And so that's basically how I'm going to be tracking for NaNoWriMo. Um, so I'm really excited. At this point, I would have already started, but because I'm filming in this in the past, I can't know what future me has done. But I assume that if she's on track, that she will be uh, like 7,500 words deep by now. So let's see, lofty goals. So. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing for NaNoWriMo. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my little cover and my little trailer and my Notion setup. And yeah, how I would love to know if you, what else, oh gosh, I would love to know how you plan on tracking for NaNoWriMo. Are you going to use the website or are you using your own sort of system? That would be cool to know. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And again, even though I just said it, thank you so much for watching and for dealing with my dog being naughty during this video. Thanks so much. Bye.